Hey, hey, hey. What's good, guys? It's FR Double. Guess who's back? Back again. Guess who's back? 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 What up? What up? FR Double E. Doing his thing. Word, guys. Just thought I'd come with another game video for you guys. That's what's up. Um, But this, man, I've been having some issues with this one. I tried it the other day. Um, it was actually supposed to come out today, if you can see on my... And I'm doing this on my phone. So I do apologize, you know, um, for any kind of quality issues there. You can take that up with my phone if you... Um, would like to, you know, I mean, my, my tablets ain't much better. I think my Chewy out of my, oh, well, besides my shield, you know, but unfortunately, um, this ain't for the shield yet. Although I'm wondering if you could side load, load it through side load launcher. You might be able to, who knows, you know, but it, it's not, um, not there yet, but, um, I don't know if it'll ever be there or not. I, I would find this, um, game pretty dope to play on the big screen with a controller but yeah i've been trying this a couple times it, it did come out yesterday but it was actually slated to release today so they pushed it a day earlier and um i did the recording and i was done it was like a 45 minute 50 minute video and it didn't record so i was, I was kind of upset with that so i was like man okay so then i tried again and did about another 45 or 50 minute video and the same thing didn't record and I was just like, oh, okay, I'm not going to do this again today. So I just uh, blew it off, you know. And I did it again today. Three times. Strike. Three strikes, you're out. So, but the thing was, is all three times I was doing it, I used this um, DU recorder. It's it's a one that was suggested to me and didn't seem to really <laughs> work well, you know. So I don't know if I can suggest that one. I mean, it might work well. Well, for others, but it, in my own experiences with it, I had three recordings that I, I spent about 40 to 50 minutes on thinking I'm done, and, and they don't even record, you know, and, and I changed the settings. So after, after the, the first recording um, didn't go through, I changed the setting, you know, on the uh, second recording to see if it would me maybe have something to do with the storage, you know, maybe I have to change it to where it saves, and that didn't work, so... I don't think I'm going to be using that one. So I took it off the phone. So now the one I'm trying that I'm hoping works, which uh, seems to fairly be reliable, is one that I actually used on the Remix Mini. I one day just got up and did a random video on the Mini and um, used a screen recorder, and it worked. You know, I was like, wow, okay, cool. And this one is called, I believe, VNC Screen Recorder or something like that. Or maybe that's the... um. That might be the company. They're called like VNC Solutions, maybe. Or, I'm not sure. But anyway, you know, seemed to work pretty good on um, Remix Mini. So let's go ahead and see how it works on here. And with that said, we're going to go ahead and get into Mario Run. So, you know, I'm just going to do ba a, a basic um, overview of this. What, what it, you know, when you first start it, what it does. And, and we're going to do it fresh. You know, I went ahead and uninstalled it and reinstalled it you know just right before um prior to this uh video i'm doing so it should just you know be fresh and basically what what this is you know when you start the game you just go through this walkthrough and there's it's like a guided you know prompt that it, it'll guide you through the prompt so we'll go ahead and do that and then maybe after that i might you know maybe i'll do like one level and maybe one of those um, rallies and then we'll call it so with that said, let's go ahead and jump into it. Mario Run. Word. So hopefully this records, guys. I mean, damn. I'm getting kind of frustrated with it not working on me, you know? Better turn it up. And we're all the way on the bottom, so it's going to take a minute. OK, 
Okay, I'll do that later. Man, that's, you know, same policies they always tell you and things, you know. We don't need to read it. We'll read it next time. I'm going to enter it now. Dear Mario, why don't you join us at the castle for a party? I'll bake a cake. Yours truly, Peach. All right, let's go join Peach. Eat some cake. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh-oh, look. it's There's Bowser. Coming to jack stuff up. Ass. You know him. He's not a cool dude. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. I'll be taking that cake and Peach, too. Oh, dang it. There he goes. Trying to ruin Mario's day. Okay. So now we are going to, like I said, we're just going to go through these um little guided prompts. You know, it kind of shows you how to begin the game. So let's get into it. Auto run. Welcome to Super Mario Run. In this game, Mario runs automatically. Cool. Vaulting. He'll also automatically vault over small obstacles, so you don't even have to touch anything. He'll just vault him automatically over it. Cool. Mario will automatically vault over small enemies, too. Hey, there you go. Nope. Oh. Bubble. If you make a mistake, you'll pop into a bubble and get to try again. The bubble's cool because, like, when you're actually playing in the the levels, there's colored coins you can get. And let's just say you pass one up, you can attempt to try it again. You know, if you have a bubble, you can pop your bubble and go back in time. You know, I mean, you don't get many bubbles. I think you only get like two. And sometimes the question marks will pop out a bubble, but I, I don't know how many. You know, but it seems like you start off with two. So, you know, throughout the game, you can probably get more. Remember, this is the free version. Unfortunately, this is a paid game, you know. Um, I don't think there's any in-app purchases. But when you do pay, you, you unlock the full game. But they, they only give you, you know, so much in the free version. But that was one of the updates. they um, In the last update they did, I guess they um, made more content avail available in the free version. So it gives you a little, a little bit more of a chance to um, play the game and, and try it out. And decide if, if you feel that it's worth a uh, feel that it's worth a nine ninety nine purchase, you know. But so here's the bubble. So you're basically riding the bubble, you know. Tap the screen whenever you want him to uh, pop down. There you go. Try jumping by touching the screen. So you, you could. Kind of tap the screen, and basically, what I've I've came to the what I've learned by playing this is it's all about timing these jumps. You know, you time these jumps when you vault over enemies when you're trying to get these purple coins. Sometimes they're like in places where you almost gotta like pull off a trick jump to get the coin. And, and you know, with, with jumping, thing I've came across too is if you tap. You know, like a quick tap, it's it's a short jump, as if you tap and hold, you jump longer. So, you know, you, de depending on how long, I guess you could say, you hold, is is your tap is how high your jump is. So, well, basically it's telling you right there, the longer you touch screen, the higher you'll jump. Pink coins, there we go. Oh, and get that pink coin there. If you jump while in midair and touching a wall, you'll kick the wall and jump the opposite direction. So this is how you jump from like wall to wall jumping.
<clears throat> uh oh. Mario better go save it. Let's try again. Okay, we're gonna try to get the pink coins this time. So it's the same thing, you know, we're gonna go through the guided prompt again. But basically, let, let's see if we can uh, get those pink coins. Pop the bubble. Let's pop them early. We'll just get through this level really quick. What I really want to do is get those pink coins, you know, if I could. Oh man. I think I needed to be a little bigger. There we go. Five pink coins, all right. Oh, I was supposed to jump a little higher for that. I missed it. Dang it, guys. I did the whole level over. And I, that's, that's a coin I always have problems getting, though. I can get all the other coins with no problem. But hey, there's four of them. That ain't too bad. So that's basically the uh, main, I guess you could say main play of the game. You just run through these levels, try to get these coins and avoid the enemies. Although, you know, you do a couple trick jumps and, and you get more coins and whatnot. Okay, so it's got to download a little extra um, data. So we'll give it a second. The longer you touch the screen, the higher you'll jump. All right. If you tap while jumping, you'll do a spin in midair. Yep. You can automatically vault over small enemies and obstacles. Jump while in midair and touching a wall, you kick the wall and jump in the opposite direction. Kind of showed you, you know, some of that. Your fall with a roll if you're falling from a great height. While rolling after breaking your fall, you can defeat enemies that can be stomped. Tap the screen while vaulting an enemy to do a vaulting jump. You can activate a switch by landing on it or by jumping while vaulting. Okay, yeah, cool. So they give you little little tips while you're waiting for the download. Oh, there goes Bowser. Bowser destroying the, what would it be, Mushroom Kingdom? Toad Kingdom? Oh, Jack. He's always got to ruin things. You know him. He's definitely not cool. Okay, so here's Toad right here. Give me a second, guys. I gotta... Okay. Oh no, Princess Peach was kidnapped by Bowser. He's also wrecked the castle, and all the toads have fled. What can we do? Okay, some more guided prompts. You know, basically, this is the Toad Kingdom, where um, I guess the toads stay in their castle, and Bowser came and wrecked shop through here. We don't want that, you know, jackass. So we, um, we are getting ready to explore. So it said, if you can see on the screen... It's prompting me to go to the tour. So I'm going to go to the tour part here. And this this is basically like your world map, you know. It kind of has the world tour. And it shows you the world. And within each world, it looks like there's four levels. So, you know, he's saying, Peach is being held inside Bowser's castle. Hurry, you have to rescue her. Okay, so it, it's actually prompting us to go ahead and start the... Uh, the first, we're in the first world, and this will be the first level. So it, it's prompting us to start that. So let's go ahead and start it. All right. Cool. World 1-1, one, one, up and over. 
You can compare rankings with friends you've added. All right. So now we're actually in gameplay. So this is me. I don't think I'll get any prompts here. This is just... This is me playing. Okay. Alright, nice. I didn't expect to do that backflip and get that coin, but... All right, nice guys. I'm I'm pretty pretty satisfied with that. I got all five coins on the uh, first try. That's good. Cool. I'm I'm sorry, five uh pink coins. So pretty sweet. I didn't expect to do that, but right on. So you know, it's gonna give us more coins. Um, showing us that we got all five pink coins. Cool. Okay. So I'll hit next. Oh, before I forget, here are some tickets so you can give Toad Rally a try. Win in Toad Rally and bring Toads back here. So this Toad, Ra Toad Rally is kind of cool. So it, watch, this this other um, pipe pops up. And this is the Toad Rally pipe. You know, it's prompting us to uh, go in there and give it a try. So we'll go ahead and give it a try. And basically with this Toad Rally, you race against... I, I don't know if they're like NPCs or if they're... I think they're actually people that are playing now you know depending on your level and and whatnot but you could race higher level people too if you think you you know you're feeling pretty confident and you feel you can beat them you'll um you can race them and you'll uh you'll win more toads in your level so um basically that's what toad rally is watch we'll go ahead and check it out now Welcome to Toad Rally. I'm Toad at the judge. Okay. Yeah, so it's saying you compete against the style of other players. So it's like a race, and, and you basically got to get more coins in them, you know, watch out for the bad guys, Um, you know, pull, pull tricks, jump tricks off of the bad guys and whatnot. The more coins you can um collect and the more uh tricks you can pull, that's basically how you win. I think the coins you win, but if, if, if you pull tricks, you attract the toads. Watch, it'll tell you. And, and basically, I, um, if you win, there, so I don't know how it calculates how many amount of toads you attract, you know, but those toads will go to your kingdom. So we'll go ahead and... This is the preset against Nintendo, so let's go ahead and start. <laughs> All right. In Toad Rally, I'll be the one to judge who the winner is, like like I was saying, based on how many coins you collect and how many Toads show up to cheer. So you gotta pull off, like, stylish moves, you know, trick moves. And that's basically, like, double jumps and stuff like that. Oh, I'm getting stuck somehow. I don't. I wanted to get that purple coin, but that's okay.
I don't know how I did. He might have beat me, but we'll see. <clears throat> Good job. Let's take a look at how you both did. We'll compare the number of coins you collected and the number of toads you each impressed. I was trying to do trick shots more than getting the coins, but I, I might have... I don't know, it might have been pretty close. Wow, look how close it was. Oh, I, th oh, I beat him, alright, cool. Congratulations, the toads that were cheering have decided to join your kingdom. Cool, so then look, look, look it, it'll tell you how many. 30 toads, so that wasn't too bad, you know. Nice. Unlocked. Congratulations, red bonus game house unlocked. Now available in the shop. All right, cool. So, you know, we can build a blue Yoshi house. Check it out. Blue Yoshi's house. The house where Blue Yoshi lives. Place this and Blue Yoshi will join. So, you know, it, it's you need a certain amount of toads. We got 30 out of 50 red, but we don't have any blue. Saying you got, you know, 0 out of 50. So you need blue and red toads, 50 of each. Cool. So here's the stats. All right. So we'll go ahead and go back to the kingdom. Nice. So that was a toad rally, basically, you know. Um, all right, all right. So now we're back at the kingdom. Okay, level one. So many toads have come to your king that your castle has leveled up. So we jumped from level one to level three because, you know, we brought so many toads in. I think each ten toads or each, like, yeah, like ten it'll level up. Because I noticed when I was bringing in twenties, it was level two. That's the first time I've got thirty, so it brought it to level three. You've brought some toads. Excellent. With more friends like these, you'll be able to rebuild your kingdom. All right. So now, you know, it's it, this is your kingdom right here. You know, our, our Toad Kingdom. Um, there's a, a bunch of things in this place. Um, it's prompting us to go to our build. So let's go ahead and go to the build option there, our build button. In the Kingdom Builder, you can get, move, and place buildings. First, try getting a building from the shop. So we'll go to the shop. That's where it's telling us to go. You can use the coins you've collected to get a building. To start, let's get a bonus game house. Okay, so if you see where it's pointing, it's pointing to the star. Um, that's where we get the game house, but there's other categories. So the star, I think, is game house. Um, I think the one next to it with the toad and, like, if you see the house, is buildings. And um, I think the uh, flowers are decorations. So let's try them. Okay, I guess we have to go to the star. So we'll click the star. Okay, this is special. I'm sorry. So the star is special. The uh, toad in the house is buildings, I believe. And the uh, flowers are decorations. So, you know, it's giving us a game house. Let's go ahead and get it. Zero coins. Red bonus game house. A mysterious house. You can play a bonus game once every four hours by touching this house. So let's go ahead and get it. Hey, thanks. Do you want to place it in your kingdom right now? I sure do. Red bonus game house. All right. So now you can place it anywhere you want. If, if you see these little squats lit up, I'll go to place it in the corner. By my other uh, cool little toad there. Buildings will react when you touch them. Try touching the bonus game house. Start by collecting 50 red toads and 50 blue toads. Then you can build Blue Yoshi's house. If you build a character's house, the characters available for World Tour and Toad Rally will increase. Get building nice. But, you know, you need 50 blue toads, so I can't do that yet. Okay, so now it told us to touch the game house, right? But if you guys notice, the, 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 the gift box or whatever that is, present is jumping. So I, I'll go ahead and touch that first. It's kind of wanting our attention there. Gift box. So there's a couple of things that we've been gifted here. So I'm going to go ahead and take them all. You've collected your gifts. I sure have. Wow. 
Would you like to invite a friend from friends? You can challenge your friend's world tour score or have a friendly run. Okay, so I don't have any friends on here now, but if you want to look at the friends list really quick, you know, there, this is basically the friends list and the menu of options that go along with it. Welcome to the friends list. Here you can take part in a friendly run, a casual competition between friends. Increase your friends to have more people to play against. Friends can be invited by selecting add, then one of the methods under share player ID. You can search for friends via social media by choosing link. <clears throat> so, you know, here we go. Friend list. Um, I don't have any friends on my list there. There's a couple options available that, you know, in regard to the friends list. If you see on the bottom, there's accept, link, invite, add. Um, you know, I, that, I just wanted to show you what it looks like. All right, cool. We'll go ahead and get out of that. Um, we got our gifts, so now what we'll do is we'll we'll do the bonus house because it told us to, to click the bonus house. So, do you want to play the bonus game? Yes, I do. So this will be, you know, and th this bonus game I think you can do it every few hours. Ooh, I wanted to get all those coins. See, okay, look, at least I'll get some here. Okay, nice. One. If I would have went under it, I would have got three. So it gave me, a, what is that, those Toad Rally tickets and a few coins. <laughs> so let's see, we got 25 coins and one Toad ticket. All right. Well, at least that's something, you know. Notifications, so this is just going to tell us news and, you know, certain things and related to what's going on in the game. Notifications, um, there is a couple tips here, but they just lead to external YouTube videos, and I, I, I don't think I want to do that, you know. If you um, have a me that you created in Tomo, you can use it as your icon in Super Mario Run, so that'd be cool. Like I was saying, these lessons here, they take you to uh, YouTube, so let's go ahead and get out of there. Um. So we're pretty much at the kingdom, um, our our toad kingdom now. And when you touch an item, it interacts with it. So if I touch little roly poly toady there on the bottom right, he uh, watch he'll just a leg like, jump. If we touch the statues, they kind of a uh, smash down. If you touch the game house, it'll tell you how much time left you have until you can play your next game. Play them every four hours. So okay, four hours left. Um, if you touch Toad, he, he'll bring up your notifications. So I'll touch a Toad in the left corner. Once again, you know, notifications panel. It takes a second to load. All right, let's go and get out of there. Um, the link in the corner is if you want to link your, uh, your Nintendo, your My Nintendo account. I don't want to do that. That that takes me somewhere externally. We can do that later, you know. If you click the uh, castle in the middle, it, it, or Toad Kingdom, it'll just show you what it looked like in the past, you know. Okay, let's see. A king kingdom, as you know. You have your different colored toad houses there. All right, so that's pretty much about it for the whole game, guys. Um, you know, um, like I said, I'll go to the menu now. If if I click the little menu in the corner there, the menu has a couple options. If you go to the notebook, the notebook is is kind of like, like I guess what a Pokédex is in Pokemon. You can go to characters. It, it'll show you you know what characters have joined your adventure. We only have Mario for now, so he's the only one. But it looks like there's, um, you know, nine characters. So it's, it's time you'll join. He'll join in once you have built a particular building in your kingdom. You know, she'll join in. Whatever this is, Princess Peach or whatever. She'll 
She'll join your adventures, blah, blah, you know, okay. So it just tells you when they'll come in. And then if... Watch, I'll go ahead and, and go to um, the enemies tab. Oh, it's, it's freezing on us a little bit, okay. Learn more about the enemies you defeated. So it, it's telling me, you know, I've defeated 29 of 200 Koopa, 0 of 50 Turtles. So there's quite a bit more that could come in as well. And tips and tricks, um, this is this is pretty good. This this part right here, if you definitely um want to spruce up on, on your techniques and tips and how to play this game, this has it all right here. And there's quite a bit here. Look at this list, guys. There's I could go through all of them, you know, but I'll I'll just go through maybe like the first five or something just so you see what they look like. So you know, basically you go to mid air spin and it's telling you how to do the mid air spin. Tap the screen while in the air to spin and slow your descent. Spin strike. Tap the screen while in the air and near an enemy to spin and take it out. And the high jump, we know how to do that. Touch the screen and hold the jump higher. If you play as Luigi, you can jump higher than anyone else. Flutter jump. As Yoshi, touch and hold the screen to flutter in the air for a short time. Okay. Floaty jump. As Peach, touch and hold the screen to float for a short time. Mid-air stall. You can start a jump by touching the screen and sliding to the left. Tap the screen just as you reach a wall, and you'll jump in the opposite direction. Wall jump. So, you know, it just keeps going on and on and on. Nice little, um, definitely nice little guide there. To get you um up and at it with this game. But um, that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, like I said, I don't know how much you get unlocked in the tour. Um, You know, it looks like, you know, I, I didn't go to level 2, and that's obviously, I'm level 2, I'm in world 1, level 2, and that's obviously what we have to go to. It looks like the, the last level, level 4, whatever this is, um, Bowser's Challenge. Clear one of the challenges to open world 1-4. Gather 100 toads in Toad Rally. Collect pink coins. 5 out of 15 pink coins. All worlds open if you purchase. So, basically, you know, you have to unlock the castle there. But um, I don't know, like I said, I don't know how many worlds um you have now with not purchasing the game. I don't think it's the whole game, though. I think it might be like the first two worlds or something. Or maybe, you know, I'm not sure. But it seems like you, you unlock the castles or the fourth worlds with them doing challenges. We can play another another world if, if, if you guys want to see that. But I mean, you know, the intro... When it prompted us through, through how to play the game, and, and then we did this first world, is basically that's pretty much it. You know, you just run through the levels, collect the coins, pick up your colored coins, um, make sure you don't run into the enemies, but you know, you can vault over the little enemies, try to sometimes maybe throw in, a, throw in you know, like a jump vault, a stylish like spin move, and you'll get coins and whatnot. That coin, uh, coin gauge will go off, and you know, whatever. But um, that's about it. I, I mean, I, I could, if you guys want to see a Toad Rally, we can go to the Toad Rally again. And remember, in Toad Rally, you just basically race against somebody, you know, and, and you got to get more Toads than, I mean, I'm sorry, not Toads. you got to make more coins than them. And um, if you can, while you're getting the coins and avoiding the enemies, if you can, you know, do like double enemy kills and kind of stylish moves you'll attract toads and then if you win those toads will go to your kingdom so let's go ahead and do it i'm going to go ahead and play this i don't know is it chinese or japanese um person here um because you know their level's close to mine the other people were higher so i, I might have lost so that definitely lost to them this guy might have a chance although you know i'm, I'm, I'm that doesn't definitely mean anything he could be good he just maybe is starting out with a new account or whatnot but We'll go ahead and do it. So we're going to go ahead and Toad Rally. Okay. So now it's loading for us.
Okay. Oh, I wanted the I wanted the pink. Try to to get that one. Oh, I wish I'd have hit that. Could have been close. Could have been close. I don't know. I'm hoping I beat him. sure I beat him. Wow. Alright, so let's see how many toad I get. If I think if I have 50 toad, I, I can create something there. Nice, 54. Alright. I don't have enough for, for the blue Yoshi house yet. I need 50 blue. Okay, cool. So we have the option to... Um, Go back to the kingdom or change opponent. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the kingdom. Right on, guys. So that's cool. I definitely um, earned a, a little bit more coins there. And, you know, I got a, a couple of them. Um, special building is in stock. You can stop by the shop to see. Okay, so what building is that? What building that is? Fireworks cannon, ordinary fireworks cannon, touch it, and boom. Okay, I don't have enough for that. I wonder if that was the special building. I can buy another toad house. That must have probably been it. Well, I don't have enough, but. All right, well, that's it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and call it, you know, a Mario Run Android out now. Um. Kind of cool. It's not entirely free, but it seems to have a bit of playability in the um, free version. And then if you want to continue, you, I, I don't know where it'll cap you, you know, where it, where it won't let you play anymore or whatnot. And I'm not even sure if, if, if you need to actually buy it to um, play the whole game. Maybe you can unlock everything just by beating these worlds. And you know, I'm, I'm not sure if it works like that, but, you know, it, it's... All right, if if it went, you know, if they have a sale, fifty percent off, I'll I'll possibly get it. I would like to see it on my shield, full um, big screen, full screen. That'd be nice, you know. I don't know if it'll ever um, ever hit that. And then the only other thing I don't like is just the the vertical layout of it, of holding it like you know vertically. I wish you could have the adaptable view where if you wanted to play it kind of horizontally, you can. You know, my phone is small as it is and. Playing quickly kind of sucks. But I'm going to bounce. Your boy Free Stuff thought we'd take a look at Mario Run. That is about it for me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call it. So I'm out, guys. All right.
Peace out. My phone's starting to run a, a little laggy anyway, so, you know, I, I don't know what the issue is here. It, it's telling me right now. Okay, so we're uh, we're good. My device storage is almost full, so I'm out. All right, guys. Peace. Peace out. Let's see. Hopefully this stupid thing uh, will record now.